guys welcome back to my channel so today I have books to show you guys I've also got some stuff from like TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Target Dollar Spa this is all like retail type things mainly the first book came from a yard sale but everything else is retail and I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one first so this is just the women's women's day book of houseplants and I like this cover art that could even be cute framed it's cute without that. Usually I end up taking the dust jackets off because it gives them like a more aged vintage look. So I picked that up for 50 cents and it's kind of like drawings of houseplants. Not actual photos but kind of like illustrated ones and it's really pretty. These would look cute framed. And I don't know if you guys are going to hear that. It just started raining and I have a metal roof. So if you hear something in the background, that's the rain. So the rest of these books are all ones that came either from like Amazon or eBay. And you should be able to get any of them now. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the new release type ones first. And this one is the new one from Miss Mustard Seed. It's the Home Design Doodle Book. And I loved her first book. So I figured I'd go for her second one too. And I like this as well. This is designed more for people that like to sketch and doodle and kind of like journal. So I'm going to go ahead and show you it. The inside. And then basically what it is, is it's got like prompts of things to journal or sketch or draw. So in the beginning it asks you about your house and your dreams. There's a lot of blank pages to work on. Here it's got things where you can sketch out or write down things that you like as far as like texture, color, furniture. And then in the back it goes to kind of like a, for all the rooms in your house. So you can create like a little mood board and make like a layout of the room. And there's a ton of those so you can do pretty much every room you have. And then it's got sections for the things that you would put in your home like lighting or furniture or things where you can just doodle, sketch out, you could even cut out pictures and just glue them in if you don't like to draw. So this is more like a book to get you thinking. It's not a book you're gonna like sit and read through. So if you like to draw, this one's a good one. And I ended up paying around, I think, 12 to $14 on eBay. I think this one retails for somewhere around, okay, $14.99. That's what I was looking for, so. The next one I picked up was also released within the past month. It's The Complete Book of Clean, and it's from the blog A Bowl Full of Lemons. I've got the organizing one, and I loved it, so I have been waiting for this one. And I like how it's got the little metal things on the corners here, just like a cute touch. Everything in here is laid out, like, so simple. Everything is, like, numbered. So it's kind of like one of those things where you can just sit down and read. You don't need a ton of time. I mean, you could even do five, ten minutes at a time and you feel like you're learning something. And it's just got great tips and tricks. So this one I picked up. This one I believe I got on Amazon. The next one came from Amazon too. It's a container gardening book and this is from Southern Living. And this one has such gorgeous pictures on the inside. And then it goes through like everything you know, need to know if you're starting a container garden. So like pots, soil, all kinds of like blends that you can do. And I've just started this one. I'm not very far into it, but I really like it. Now these next two I picked up on eBay. And I know they're on eBay. You can get them on thrift books as well. And they're from the Junk series by Mary Randolph Carter. And she's like a contributing, uh, I don't know, like, like a columnist, I guess you'd call it, to Country Living Magazine. But she has collections of like everything you can imagine. And it's just so neat to look through these items. So they're both kind of laid out in the same way. There are other ones too that are on my like wish list. There's an American Junk and there's a Big City Junk. Um, but basically she just goes through and shows you things that she's seen, where she saw them in the store, she's got pictures, and then she takes you through like how she used them. So it's just like really, really good inspiration. And I picked these up for like $3 a piece. And this one here is the American Junk. So this is all kinds of like collectibles that have kind of like an Americana feel. 
There's a section in here actually about animals, so it has like dog collectibles, which was like right down my alley. Um, let's see. Chairs, if you collect chairs. Just like everything you could dream of. So these are really fun to look through. I picked up another junking book, and this one's called Junk Beautiful Outdoor Edition. And I do have another book by these guys, and I really liked it, so I went ahead and got this one too. I am about halfway through. And more than just like reading the words, I kind of go for the pictures in these type books. So it's just got really great ideas for like repurposing things or how to use them. So here she's used like a metal couch in kind of an outdoor room. And I just, the thing I think that I take away from these most is how they kind of create like little sections or rooms outside. And that's kind of what I want to do. This thing I fell in love with. If I ever found one of these, I'd buy it in a heartbeat. They're like those little playground ride-ons. Um, I don't even know what I'd do with it. I just think it looks so cool sitting out there. I saw that on the cover and fell in love with it. <laughs> so this one I also paid about $3 for. And then the last one I'm going to show you was around that same price. And this is by Smith & Hawken. It's called Garden Ornament. And this just shows you like different ornaments you can put in your garden. Like sundials and obelisks and things. So this one inspired me to go out and do a DIY and I'll be uploading that video shortly. Um, I got an idea in here to do a garden obelisk to kind of like the vines and things could climb. And I saw one at TJ Maxx for $20 like right after reading this. But that still seemed like a lot. So I'm going to show you guys a cheaper option. Um, so stay tuned for that. But like this just gives you good ideas here. I am going to try and find one of these eventually. I don't have a water feature but I just think they're so cool. The little the herrings that like people put at the edge of ponds. So just really great ideas in that one. So that is the books. I'm going to show you guys Target Dollar Spot real quick. I just picked up some straws and some stirrer sticks. And these all go in my coffee center to stir like tea or coffee. So these with the red, white, and blue. These are like a minty green. And these are like a mint green stripe. I also picked up two banners for July 4th. And this one's just the blue and white stripe triangle, and then the red gingham, kind of like flag shape. And that was from the $3 price point. And then this other one here just says Happy Fourth. And they're like little canvas flags with kind of like red, um, almost like handwriting look. And then it's a blue and white stripe ribbon. The next thing I picked up came from H&M, and it was their online website. Sometimes I get coupons from them in the mail and it's like 30% off and free shipping. So that's like a crazy deal and I didn't want to pass it up. So I picked up this little wood tray and it was originally $5.99. But like I said, I got it 30% off and then free shipping. So it was like four something. But it's just got a really, really nice like color and look to the wood. And it's just got some writing on it. So this will just look really cute like holding something in it. Now this next item came from Marshalls, and this is another one of those things that my husband and I did not see eye to eye on. And this is going to go outside in my garden, and it's a rock. That's what he was like, you bought a rock. But <laughs> I like it because it's got this little iron mouse on it. So I'm building a flower garden, and I'm going to kind of do like a rock border, and I'm going to make this one of the rocks in the border because I think it'll look cute. This was $5.99. And don't know if it has a brand on here. Escher Design. I don't know if you can see that. So anyways, I just thought he was really cool. And yes, I did buy a rock. The next garden sculpture I bought also came from TJ Maxx. And this was $7.99. And this is just like one of those, I guess it's like a pineapple or type sculpture. Um, I just like it. I think it's got a cool color to it. It looks almost like dirty and like old school ceramic. So I'm going to put this in one of my little gardens. And then the last thing I have to show you guys is this uh, like garden ball that I picked up from TJ Maxx. And this was on clearance for $8. And I am going to change it completely. I just bought it because I needed like the shape. Um, I've been looking for a bowling ball actually to use and I couldn't find one. So when I came across this for $8, I went ahead and got it. So my plan is to use some kind of an outdoor like silicone adhesive and cover it with pennies. Um, I'm going to put it 
in a flower garden somewhere, but I watched on Pinterest somebody did one with pennies, and then it aged naturally and got like that copper patina, that like the blue-green color, and it just, it was amazing looking. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. That's going to be like one of those projects that you do like in front of the TV while your husband's watching a game or something because it's going to be forever. But it'll be worth it in the long run. And so I've got a few more things that I picked up from TJ Maxx and Marshalls that I could not wait to put out in my house. So I'm going to take you guys down and show you them now. So this little berry bowl here was another one of the finds from Marshalls that I couldn't wait to get out. This was $4 on clearance and I just like the blue and white design but the fact that it has like the drainage holes a berry bowl was like on my long-term wish list and the fact that this one is blue and white just makes it kind of extra. So I thought that was cool. And then the other thing I picked up at TJ Maxx, I found some Ray Dunn bowls finally. When I saw these there, my heart was like racing. Um, I've never seen the bowls in person, just the cups at my place. So they had these four munch bowls, they had cereal and maybe a good morning or something like that. I went back later and they had hello also, but I really liked these. These were $3.99 a piece, so I picked up four. So those are all my finds. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing them. Thank you for watching.